Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in Theater One, the robotic uh, theater. I will present the next case. From my point of view, it's one of the most exciting cases um, today. Can you see everything? Yeah? So we have a 70-year-old male patient with a kidney tumor with a diameter of approximately three centimeters in a horseshoe kidney. It's nearly directly on the isthmus, and we did a tumor embolization three days ago. Patient had a laparoscopic prostatectomy uh, 15 years ago, and um, we also have some pictures. We can show you the CT scan, as you see here in the presentation, and we as well have a 3D model with a 3D printed model. You can see the tumor is brown as in the cases before. The green thing is just a simple cyst which is also um, to be seen here on the model. You see it here, we can rotate, we can exclude. And yeah, I hope for you, you can see the 3D model uh, in the Congress Hall. We also have uh, some slide, uh, we have the pictures of the tumor embolization three days ago. And we also have a small video of the CT scans where you can uh, see the tumor again. So the, the surgery will be performed by Professor Minervini and they um, already started to put the trocars in. If you have any questions, please let us know. Um, Otherwise, we wish you a lot of fun. Hello, can you see me? Yes, we, we see you very clear. Perfect. Uh, Andrea, can you say has what uh, could be your strategy? Yes. Uh, have you think, of course, what you want to do? Yeah, well, this is a very difficult question, Saro. I mean, there are several issues related to this case several key factors and key decisions to take. And maybe one is uh, related to the other. So it's the consequences of decision and uh, hopefully I will take the right one. This is a very particular case. This is a, a kidney anomaly, it's a North Shoe kidney. And the, and the level of the tumor is uh, just uh, at the isthmus and is just below the, the, the surface of the parenchyma, the renal parenchyma, at the level of the isthmus. So actually, you can see the tumor for, from, the, from the posterior face of the isthmus, and the, it is touching, it is very close to the aorta at this level. It is paramedial on the left. So the first question is where to place the trockers? This is, a, a, I can imagine this is a key question, but uh, it is a diff difficult one because different surgeons will go for different approaches. The possibility is to go like an, uh, a robotic cystectomy, five centimeters below the umbilicus and go down. Another approach, so the approach that the in the beginning would suggest, another approach would be the, the, the approach uh, uh, or, or, uh, in the, with the patient, the supine position, but going from down to uh, upward to the, the kidney and to the hilum. And this is the position that has been uh, popularized by uh, Jim Porter. So these are two approaches with the patient, the flat, flat position. I decided to go laterally because this is the, the approach that I normally do but I changed a little bit the approach. I placed the fourth arm that is normally, I don't use in partial nephrectomies, even for Padua 12, Padua 13 cases. I got over 2,000 minimal invasive partials, uh, and I never use the third arm unless in very sporadic cases. While I use the fourth arm in caval surgery, meaning a radical nephrectomy with the caval thrombus, and in aortic surgery, meaning radical nephrectomies with para-aortic or inter-aorto caval lymphadenectomy. So I decided to place the fourth arm in this case as well, because I, I reckon this case as 
an aortic procedure, let's say, if you could pass me this, uh, this uh, term. So I decided to place the trockers uh, in, the, in the, the patient in the flank position, and I uh, try to move the trockers a little bit further down because the tumor is not in the normal position of the kidney, but is a little bit lower down. Actually, if you look at the CT scan, you can see that the tumor is eight centimeters from the promontory, four centimeters above the belly button. So I place the camera in the belly, in the belly button, uh, and then I place one robotic arm on the right, so basically uh, in the iliac fossa. And this is my right hand, where there, are, where there is the monopolar scissors, and two arms on the left, on the midline, one just eight centimeters above the belly button, and one, the last one, eight centimeters above the second arm. Um, the second key issue is the vascularization of this tumor. This patient has uh, uh, one main artery coming from the aorta, and then there are two other accessory artery, one coming from the iliac and one coming from the aorta. And uh, Professor Stolzenburg has embolized the, uh, the, the vessel coming from the iliac that is going straight to the isthmus. Now I move to the console. Another issue in this patient is, it, is that he is a 78. And if you look at the scan, you would see that this is not a female. He is not a nice kidney, nice fat, a lot of strains, a lot of fat. And this is for sure something that uh, makes the surgery even com more complex than it is. Because uh, I need to isolate the kidney with uh, this fat that can be toxic, as we say. So, uh, before to go to the, um, to the console, I would like to, uh, to say a big thank you to Professor Vito Panzadoro, that is the brain and the art of the challenge, that I, uh, I, I, I came to the, the challenge every year since 2004. And uh, so, thank you very much for the invitation. That is, for me, the second year. And the Professor Stolzenburg and all the team Dite, Anya, and uh, all the staff team of, the, of this theater for the excellent job and the excellent organization and the beautiful cases they have prepared. So you are beginning uh, your incision laterally as usual? Yes, I need to, to medialize all the, all the, all the colon and the uh, inferior mesenteric, mesenteric artery. Because as you, as you could see, the, 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 the kidney is uh, just uh, below. So I need to medialize the inferior mesenteric artery and the colon in order to get to the kidney. And uh, of course, uh, we need to take, uh, pay attention to the vascularization and to the ureters. The ureters is another issue in this kind of surgery because they are ectopic as the, as the kidney and you can find it in your way, not uh, uh, on the psoas muscle, but just above the horseshoe kidney. So mm -hmm. you have to pay attention, medializing the colon, you might uh, accidentally injure the, the ureters. So this is another important uh, issue. In, in fact, uh, another possibility would have been to, to place a stent. I didn't, we didn't, but it, it could have been a possibility. I see that you are using the Maryland, not the finessed bipolar yes. one. I, I normally use the, the Maryland because it's more precise during the dissective phase of the tumor and because uh, I can use it easier as a needle holder on the left during the reconstructive phase. I also prepared the progress for the fourth arm just in case.
I have the, my plan is to reach the hilum of the left uh, kidney and to isolate the artery because the vascularization of the tumor will be an issue and I want to be prepared to clamp the main artery and uh, the vessel that is coming from below, from the aorta, while I will cut, if I will see it, uh, the vessel that is coming from straight to the isthmus from the iliac because it has been um, embolized. So, uh, at the moment, uh, no, uh, it is already closed, so once I will find it, I will cut it. Andrea, can you say us why you chose to put uh, the patient like uh, in operation of left kidney and not on like a right one? Because the tumor is paramedial on the left uh, and the and the and the tumor is just uh, above the aorta. And normally I have a good control of the aorta during uh, left uh, nephrectomy or left partial. I normally go to the aorta for the, for, in order to find the vessels. So I said, uh, I, I hope that the, 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 the lateral approach left side, it is uh, a good approach because it can reach the aorta and so can reach the tumor. While normally on the right. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree, I This patient is, uh, is fatty. Yes, this is a problem. I mean, doing this kind of surgery in a slim uh, female would have been uh, half percent of the success. Really. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While I need to struggle to find the, the plane, to find the... Uh, the kidney. I asked for the tile pro, just in case, because uh, the tumor is not visible on, on the anterior side. So I might use the tile pro if it is not possible to reach the tumor from below. to see the tumor from above and to treat the tumor like an endophytic tumor of the isthmus. Mm The advantage to have uh, so fat is that the, the plane is clear, it's easy to uh, develop the plane uh, instead of uh, the, the patient that have not so fat that we are. It's a beautiful, it's a non procedure, right? Yes. Professor Minimini, yeah. so would you please show us the uh, anatomic landmarkers to identify the kidney or the ureter. Thank you. This is a good question. At the moment, I don't have uh, landmarks. I'm just uh, yes. dissecting the, the, um, the bowel, medializing the bowel. Can you see? In order to have uh, yes. a better control on the kidney, once uh, I decide to go and find uh, 
the kidney structures. At the moment, I don't have, unfortunately, landmarks that we normally have in uh, this kind of surgery. No psoas, no other landmarks. Yeah, this can, can be the, uh, this can be the renal vein, and this uh, is in the place uh, I hope to find it. I really hope to find it in this place, because this meaning that this is the isthmus, more or less. Now let's see if the, the fourth arm is, is a good decision. The artery on the CT scan should be, of course, below the vein, a little bit inferior. Yes? I volevo trovare l'arteria. Perché c'è una un ramo dell'arteria che va proprio I was saying that there is a, the reason why I'm going here is that because there is a a, a vessel coming from the main artery and going to the ilum. But it's not so easy because there is a lot of fat and uh, yes. probably is uh, in a position that is not uh, easy to find. I didn't find the, the aorta. The, the landmark of the, the, yes, yes, the aorta could be a, a good landmark. Yeah, for, in fact, uh, and this is this very case. important uh -huh. to find it. Unfortunately, here there is the isthmus, so the aorta is below the isthmus. Yeah.
Okay, this can be the artery, can be. Yes. Andrea, have you the possibility to use the ultrasound uh, now? Because probably also ultrasound can help you in this phase. In, my, in this phase, you mean to find the artery? Yes, probably, yes. Because, yes, why not? No, look, uh, this is, this is the aorta, probably. Ah, yes, you find. Yes, you find oh, yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so okay, beautiful. okay. Anyway, so this is the aorta. Very smart. Yes. So happy to know that I'm in the place I I thought I wanted to be. <laughs> um, well, but in this case, I think that we have to to keep your time and. Yeah, I will. Ah. I will. Uh, I had a nice breakfast and also. Lunch. No so problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Professor Bandamini, so will you control the artery and the vein together or just uh, control clamp the, the, the artery? Sorry, say it again. So will you uh, control the, uh, the vein and the artery together? No, or no, just, no. Uh, no, no, the, the no, no. I don't think there are reason to clamp the vein in a left kidney tumor normally. And I don't think there is space to clamp the vein in, in these uh, isthmus tumors. No backflow. Uh, backflow is not scaring me in a, in a left kidney. Uh, I normally clamp the vein for ILAR tumors of the right kidney. Uh, so not this case. Uh, um, okay. Can you see the artery? There is um, the cranial part of the artery that is coming. Can you see? Yes, very clear. I think this yes, is yes, the right, the left renal artery. Okay, so now I will ask for, uh, yeah. for Maryland on the right uh, and uh, middle holder on the left uh, and the vessel loop 12 centimeters. I will try to pass uh, the, the artery and leave it uh, there. I normally go to the uh, ilum uh, straight uh, I normally don't uh, uh, left, uh, lift up, uh, li lift the kidney and the ureter. So this is basically more or less the approach that we normally do for uh, normal kidneys. The difficulty was that I didn't ha have any clue that I was in the right position. Vieni così, Ago. Ok. Vessel. Perfetto. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I 
it's a good idea. Yeah. Yes. It's a good it's idea. Pull that ravine out of the control. Yes. Okay. So now we got the artery, and we can clamp it uh, in, uh, in in uh, in during the dissect dissective phase. Okay. Uh, so we can we can back to the position at the beginning. Now what I want to do is to isolate the kidney from the lateral side, go medially, and try to find the possibility to lift the left, the hemi left kidney up towards the hilum. And uh, during this phase, uh, I am sure I will find the psoas and I will find the aorta below the isthmus. This is my approach now. Since now you have not to find the ureter. Huh? No, but uh, I wouldn't, I, I hope I won't find it, because uh, this is uh, higher up uh, inside the, the, um, the fat. So I, I would guess, uh, where is the, okay. I would guess the, the, key, the, the, the ureter is here, more or less. It's not closing. Okay, so I would say probably the probably, ureter. Probably, yes, we see that is moving is down. Here, you see here. Uh -huh. Probably Maybe. yes, yes, probably Maybe. yes. Maybe could be here anyway. Now I'm going here. So what are the landmarkers for uh, ureter identify? So it's muscle or something like it. It's going to the psoas itch. Sorry, to the psoas muscle. Yes. I think it might, so it might maybe yes. the mo most important. Landmark. This is the psoas muscle. Okay. Yes. Yes. We are discussing uh, about this, that uh, is uh, the landmark more important in this case. Because by now you can go majorly and so you can find Howard and Istimu. Bipolar is not working. <laughs> Bipolar is not working. So, Professor Minaveni, so will you mobilize the, the kidney completely or just the uh, up a low power of the kidney? Uh, uh, I would, I think, uh, but it's a supposition that is not enough to mobilize only the inferior pole, because otherwise the higher pole, the upper pole is uh, stuck to the psoas, and so I cannot lift uh, the lower pole and the isthmus. So I guess uh, that I need to isolate uh, uh, as much as I can uh, the. Um, the hemi left kidney, in order to to lift the the isthmus. That's that's a supposition, of course. That's perfect. Normally, here we find the ureter go medially, but in this mm -hmm. case, I don't think I will find the ureter because the ureter is higher up. So uh, uh, at least uh, I will find some, some, some veins and arteries that are not uh, uh, visible uh, on the CT scan and on the 3D reconstruction, but not uh, the ureter. And uh, I must say that the medics did a great job with this uh, 3D reconstruction that helped me a lot. Uh, in order to plan my my surgery.
What I will found are the iliacs, if, if I'm, for the, if I'm uh, down, or the aorta, but not the ureter. This fat makes things really more complex. But I know uh, there are many patients, um, we deal many times with toxic fat. Can you see here? We deal many times with toxic fat, and uh, we did a study, and indeed toxic fat, toxic fat was not influencing our results. Uh, only time of the operation was related to the, to the presence of this toxic fat, but nor the complication, nor the warm ischemia time, so trifecta, nor uh, the positive margin. So at the end, trifecta was not influenced by toxic fat. So this should be iliac. Don't know what you think. Yes, I think so. Yes. Posso girare un aggiornamento su a che punto sì. sei? Eh, dunque, sto. Visto, in English. Uh, sorry. I, <laughs> because you were speaking Italian. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I was um, looking for the isthmus. I found the, uh, the artery, the common iliac artery, and uh, the aorta. aorta uh, and then uh, I decided to stop, uh, to clean, and now I'm looking for the isthmus. This is the aorta. Um, to please show us the ureter. Andrea, uh, si? Dr. Ma asks you if you can show us the ureter. I haven't if seen the ureter. If you find it, I don't know. The ureter should be here, in this tissue, okay. above the, the kidney coming from here and going down. I didn't isolate the ureter yet. Probably you don't need to do it. Yeah, this is what I, I thought. Maybe I don't need. My challenge now is to understand where is the isthmus. This is aorta, and it is stacked with calcification. You can see. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Thank you. 
Let me see where I'm going to piano. I, will I found the aorta from the common iliac, and I'm following the aorta that is, is hard for the calcification. I need to pay a lot of attention to this aorta. So this is probably the isthmus at this level. Okay, down. Now I will try to open the gerota on this side. This is all the fat that is surrounding the kidney. Do you routinely place the brain? So the, the, the colon is here. So I'm working on the kidney surface for sure, and uh, I don't find possibility to, to damage the, the bowel. Here you can find an artery and yes. vein. In this, the low power of the kidney, the anterior surface of the uh, low power, it's here. In this position, uh, the, the possibility to find the, the, the kidney would uh, help me a lot. Yes. The adipose tissue is unhealthy, right? Yeah. Back here. Okay, so there is something yeah, interesting it's, it's here. Yes. Mm -hmm. This looks like <laughs> kidney parenchyma. So, this is a good news. Back here. Okay, back here. And I would guess uh, that this is the isthmus, because I'm very medial. 
However, I don't know what vessels are these two. So what I'm going to do now is to try to follow this parenchyma and to have a better understanding of uh, where am I, where I am. Where I What's that? This is the east. So this, this is like capsular dissection, right? Yes, probably yes. Subcapsular dissection plan. Sorry, said again. See. See, this is the superior part of the isthmus. Okay. Careful. Uh, Okay, I need to medialize a little bit more this colon. Otherwise, the inferior mesenteric artery will, uh, will be in just above my isthmus, and uh, I wouldn't, uh, I could, I will not, uh, it will not be possible to go in the center of the isthmus and to have a nice plane of. Uh, working space and plane of dissection. So I need to medialize the spleen and the colon more than I did. Are you everything agree that the, that is the isthmus from the audience? It like so. Okay.
Professor Melimini. Yes. Can you see the uh, pancreatic tail or uh, adrenal gland in this area? Normally, normally this doing this movement, uh, we always see the pancreatic tail, of course. And maybe we will see yes. the tail in this situation as well. Not sure we will see the adrenal. I don't know where it is. Uh, and uh, maybe it's inside this fat. Uh, so difficult to say. But uh, normally we see the pancreatic tail. In fact, we do the medialization of the pancreatic tail and uh, yes. of uh, the, the spleen all together. Yes. Uh, and this is always very important also to find the ilum. But in this case, I mean, the anatomy is a little bit different. But you are absolutely right. This is the right position to find the pancreatic tail. Normally, we leave the, the adrenal on the right and the tail of the pancreas on the left. In this situation, the subcapsular dissection may be a not bad choice. Uh, don't know. Do you think the, so? The, the but fat, it's not. Fat it, is too bad. It is not bleeding, but uh, don't know. I do, I don't think so, but I mean, maybe. Because of the toxic fat, of course. Yes. Now what I wanted to find is the aorta. Again here, can you see? Yes, very clear. Non sono sicuro che è la mesenterica, maybe. Because the aorta would give me the right landmark Posteriorly. So will you use the ultrasound to locate the, the, the tumor? Sorry, you, you, you ask me for the ultrasound? The, the so the, the, will you use the ultrasound to, to uh, identify the location of the tumor? Uh, I wanted to have more clear the anatomy before to start using the ultrasound. OK. Once I have the anatomy more clear, I would use the, the ultrasound only
to find the tumor, but, but okay. I need to know the better way where are the structures. I really wouldn't expect to have uh, this structure here in front of me. Eh? Non ho capito. Eh sì. Because I think the tumor is here more or less. This looks like to be the ureter. Can you see? Yes, very clear. Is the ureter or the, uh, the gonadal This is the ureter. I, don't, I haven't seen the gonadal, but ureter. this is the yes, ureter. Yes, ureter. Andrea, do you think that the structure that you find, uh, have you found, uh, was a vessel or uh, something else? Which one? Which one? The, 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 um, the structure that you indicate uh, before, that you said, I don't know if it's mesenteric or something. I think it's, like uh, it's, a, it's an artery. Do you see the movement of the ureter? Yeah, looks like. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is the ureter, yes, definitely. Yes, yes, the ureter, ureter, yes. The left mm -hmm. ureter, I would say. Professor Porpilla was uh, warning us, uh, saying, be careful, you will find the ureter very medially. So the best way to avoid in, uh, injury is to identify it. Let's place a vessel loop. Okay. 
back, please. The space is not so good. No, so can you tell us about the uh, gas pressure now? Uh, the pressure is at 12, I guess. 12, OK. Unfortunately, in this case, uh, the air seal uh, could have uh, had uh, further advantages. Zach, please. Can I have the ultrasound? I have uh, a feeling uh, that the one, the ureter that I isolated Can, can you hear me? Yes, we are here, you will. Yeah, well, I had the feeling that the, the ureter that I isolated is the ureter on the right. But I'm, I'm really not sure about that. Because this vessel here looks like the vessel of the isthmus that was coming from the aorta. And if you can see, here, there is the aortic pulsation. Can you see? So, yes. So probably you you went uh, too medially. Too medially, yes. So everything now is it's a bit, little bit more clear to me. This is the aorta. Can you see? Yes, okay. yes, yes. OK. And this could be the, the vessel that goes towards the isthmus. Very close to our target. I mean, this is just a supposition, but uh, I'm pretty convinced. But could be, could, could be. be, because this is the order for sure, hundred percent sure. This is aspect. Here. You have problem with the bipolar. 
or not yet? No, no, he's, no. he's working. No, he's working. Okay. Where is my third arm? Where is In this case, the, the parenchyma that we, we see probably is, uh, is the, the right. Sorry, say it again. In this case? So in this case, if the ureter that you have isolated yeah. is the right one, yeah. the parenchyma that we C is the, the, the right the side of this. Uh, well, of the isthmus. The parenchyma is the, is the right side of the isthmus. Can you see? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Can you clean uh, the fourth arm? OK, now I'm going to have a closer look to the aorta. Then I will do the ultrasound. If I found the tumor just below the kidney at this level, I will cut that uh, vessel that is pulsating at the level of the isthmus. And we will see. Show me the aorta. Okay. Back here. Yes, this might be the vessel close to the cyst, yeah. I mean, this is quite small. I think we can cut it. And there's another renal artery? Sorry? Or something else? Say it again? So this vessel, another renal artery or something, yeah, I, uh, something else? I think from the CT scan, uh, the, there was a a small vessel coming from the aorta. Oh, okay. One bigger vessel coming from the iliac and one small one coming yes. from the aorta. So they, oh, these okay. two could be the one that uh, w the, CT, the CT scan was showing. All like this. Okay, so ultrasound and um, needle holder uh, arm one. Okay. okay, now I'm switching. Okay, can you see it? Okay. Okay, we can see uh, it. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> More, uh, I need more depth on the ultrasound, so I need more depth to go closer to the to, to close the focus on the on the on the there. Yeah, but I wanted to have a closer view to the tumor so we can better define the edges, the the burden. Where is the tumor? So the tumor comes from yeah. here. Here, here, you see? here. Yes, his tumor. Yes, that's Those right. Tumor, yes. Now we are exactly on the tumor. And then here. Here is the limits. Mm -hmm. this, the left limit. And now you here, are on here, the tumor. Yes, here, exactly where we. Here. 
And the, the, the vessel we imagine that the, just the, below is the aorta. Can you see the aorta? The vessel you can see one. Yes, the aorta you can see very well. Okay. Yes, okay. the right limit. Can I have a okay. scissors on the third arm, please? Just for one second. There are a couple of issues. You have to switch left with the right, and you have to give me more depth. I can come and do by myself. I should, maybe I, sh I should know the, the, the machine. Oh, yeah, picture, okay. Yeah, perfect, and switch left with the right. So this is the medial edge. This is the lateral edge. Can you go closer with the depth? Closer. How many centimeter is the, the tumor? It's 3.5. Closer, 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 please, closer. Depth, press depth, 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 please. Okay, thank you. Okay, now it's better. Okay, it's working better. Okay. So this is the limit, okay. Just at the level of the isthmus starts also the tumor, but it's below. Okay. Okay, so good, take it out, please. So this is the tumor. So Professor Minivini, so yeah. will you use the uh, uh, endo-GIA or something else to no. treatment the No, no, uh, this, is not, this is not my, my, pl my plan. Okay, switch the oh, scissors. Okay. I, the, now I want to isolate the posterior edge of the tumor from, from, um, from the aorta. I think it's fundamental to isolate the tumor from the aorta, if, if possible, if possible, lifting the kidney up and uh, trying to separate the aorta from the tumor. Otherwise, during the dissection of the tumor, there would be too many worries for me 
to to injure the aorta because of course something is can bleed during the the section yes. because the vascularization is not completely controlled by myself so okay especially on the especially on the on the right so i will uh, now i will clamp the artery that has been already embolized I will isolate the small artery on the aorta with the vessel loop, may have a small vessel loop, eight centimeters. Where is the small artery? Okay, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna sec, come to here. Okay, hemolock, two hemolock on the right. Mark. What is the ureter? The ureter, yes. This is the ureter, no? No, this no, is no, the ureter. No, 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 this is not the ureter. No, no. no. This is the... So what is? This is the artery that is going into the ilum. Can you see? Can you see the artery going into the ilum? The ureter is here, the, ri the right one, and this is the okay. ilum. Okay. We just marked the tumor. This is the tumor. Can you see? Yes. Can you see or not? This is the demarcation uh, with the cauterization of the tumor. This is the isthmus, and this is the artery going inside the isthmus. The right, this, okay. the, right uh, uh, the left right. ureter is here, somewhere okay. Okay. here. Inside, inside this this uh, this fat, somewhere. Uh, I might I might show you afterward. No, uh, no. Um, the, this was been? the artery. It was embolized. Exactly, and there. exactly. QD? exactly. This was the artery that was embolized. Exactly, that was going straight. Can I show you the model? Um, can I have the model? Can I have the camera? So, this is the situation. Can you see the ex external view? Yes, Prof we are Professor Panzadoro, can you yes, see? Yes, yes, and okay. Andrea, Andrea so, you, we are... So, this is the, the situation. We are working on the aorta and the we have uh, yes. I isolating this vessel that was coming parallel to the aorta and going straight to the, to the kidney in the, in the isthmus. This is uh, covered by parenchyma. So what we see is the parenchyma, that is my hand. This vessel this is coming straight to the isthmus. Aorta, we see the surface of the parenchyma and this vessel that has been embolized three, two days ago. Thank you. Okay, now it is more clear. Yes, perfect. Okay, close. Okay. Some the aorta. Okay. Good. Now I'm trying to follow this plane. I don't know if uh, I will be able to follow this plane straight uh, or I have to lift uh, the left p left kidney. Back here. Okay. So 
This is the tumor, more or less, I would say, covered by this uh, layer of fat. Okay, so this was what I was I was uh, thinking. Try to lift uh, the the left kidney up in order to dissect. Uh, Tumor from the aorta posteriorly. I think this is the art on the other side. Can you? Yes, we can see it. Dai la bipolare a destra e il portaghi a sinistra. Andrea, do you want to put out only the tumor? What you mean? What you mean, sorry? Only the tumor or all the isthmus? No, only the tumor to start with. Ah, yes. Only the tumor to start with. Then I have a, will have a look. To the isthmus, because look at the isthmus. Because is uh, with the ultrasound, yes, with the ultrasound, the tissue was very, very slim. Yes, uh, over yes. the tumor, but so probably it's not useful to maintain it. Of course, of course, but this is a second step. 
I want, first of all, to remove the tumor, and then I will see what, uh, which is the best strategy to close the edge and eventually to remove the, the tissue that is uh, remained and that form the, the isthmus. Andrea. Yes. Do you think the ECG would, have, would be helpful to you to see which is the part of the isthmus which has been uh, avascularized by the embolization? Or the artery went just to the tumor? No, I think um, the ICG could be a good option, of course. Because the problem of emboliz embolization is that uh, you never know. Uh, yes. Rarely it takes just the tumor. It takes also the, the tissue, surrounding tissue. Yes, of course. That's why... And, and sometimes there is still some vascularized tissue that has not been... Uh, yes. So that's why the majority of surgeons stop doing embolization before partial nephrectomy. Because from one side, there is higher risk to devascularize normal tissue functional parenchyma. And on the other side, uh, there is not the certainty that you embolize uh, what you need to embolize. Uh, and then you have also, after embolization, you need also to clamp the artery during the dissecting phase because, it's ble because it is bleeding. Um, that's why I found the, the artery and I clamp the, art the main artery because uh, I'm sure there is some, some vascularized tissue some, some vascularization coming from the artery. Okay, so, now Agostino, uh, do we want to do ICG? Is it possible to do that? Oh, not possible, okay. Un unfortunately, uh, Professor Panzadoro, it is not possible on, on this... Uh, uh, I heard. Yeah, on this robot. Okay. So, now I want to have a look to the main artery. Okay. Zach, please. Okay. Do you think it's possible to place a vessel loop down there? I go. I think it's possible. I will. I will put down like this. Yes. Okay. That one. Yeah. Okay, we can do it. We can do that. May I have again the ultrasound to have a clearer view to confirm the edges? Okay, okay, thank you. So uh, this, the st strategy is to start the incision, trying to find the burden of the tumor, 
and they nucleate the tumor from the isthmus. And then, uh, of course, uh, I am uh, a bit uh, um, worried about the vascularization coming from the right side. Because so I will start uh, on the left side. And then when I, follow, when I found my plane on the left side, I will go on the right. For this uh, intervention, the Earth seal is really helpful because the void is annoying foggy, it's annoying fog, and can also give you the possibility to work with the 10 millimeter pressure instead of 12. You see, the embolization of that vessel was not com 
completely closing the vessels of the isthmus. Ago, I would clamp the artery now. Can you see how close we are from here to there? Close? Close, close. Okay. Give me the minutes, five minutes. Every five minutes you say, okay. Okay. Thank you. Suck. Suck here, here, please. I'm not sure that the artery is well clamped because of the atherosclerosis. Okay. Can you uh, lift the pressure to 14? I normally don't do it. In this case, it might help. Okay. Suck here. Here, 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 down. No, no, stay close. St st close. Stay fermo. Fermo qua, fermo così, fermo così. Okay, so this is the capsule of the tumor. Can you see? OK. 
Okay, wait. Está aqui? Down, down, down. Sack, sack, please. Go down. Okay. Down here, here. Sack, please. Put down, down. Place a clip here, um, metal clip. Don't know it is uh, if it is embolized or not, but place a clip here. Yes, close. Good. Good. Okay. Press down. Good. Very good. Okay. So, so this was this was the vessel going to the tumor, the main vessel. Unfortunately, not the only one. Okay, go down here, okay, try to follow this plane, stuck here, this is the aorta, I guess, okay, stop, stop, stop. This is normal parenchyma. Okay. So I just uh, removed the tumor from the left kidney. Okay. Okay, suck here. Okay. Even more difficult on this side because w I don't have any clamp. So this is the plane of a nucleation that I'm following.
No, di qua, di qua, di qua, di qua. Thank you. Careful, be careful. Okay, higher up here, here. There is something here, still here. Sack. I'm gonna sack. Go this direction. Suck. Okay. 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 Now I'm on the, on the right side of the isthmus, on the normal parenchyma. Can you see? Okay. So, give me the, the basket. Okay, close it. Okay, now go. The, the strange thing is that I didn't find the, the turbo thump because probably this is still. Okay. Ora mi dai il monosine. Ok. Clip here, blue, the green one. Eppure lascialo, eh. Lasciala pure, lasciala. Lasciala stare, lascia, lasciamola lì. Ok, give me the middle holder.
In few seconds, we will declamp. Okay. Da qua sopra, qua sopra. Sì. Da qua sotto. Sì, dammene un'altra. Non a sto cazzo di basket, però. Lock. Ok. Clamp. Vai. Time. Good. Ok. Ok. Ok, let's go on the other side. We can see. Stack, 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 stack here. Ok, I'm gonna stack. Ok, sì. Aspetta, aspetta, spira. Can you see the other side of the isthmus? Is there anybody there? Professor Panzadoro? Ti ascolto. Dicevo, Andrea? Can you see the other side of the isthmus? Yes. Okay. You, you did not clamp the right renal artery. No, no, it was not possible to get there. Just the left one. Yes, for 16 minutes. 
One six. Yes. I think was good. Excellent. Now we have got the the right uh, side of the. Of it the looks it's section. not bleeding very much. It's not bleeding very much because it was still on the left side, so probably was the the the, the, the vascularization at this level was coming from the embolized artery. I see. This is the. They did a beautiful job. This is the. This is the kidney. Can yes. you see? Yes. Okay. Now you will do the sliding sutures. On this side. Okay. Yeah. Taking care of not injuring the the vessel Nothing. here and the aorta. Okay. Punto. Vai. Yes. You prepare some uh, flocil. No, I need to see better. Questa è la trancia, no, questa è la trancia. Questa, questa, this is the capsule, okay. I see. Okay. Back here. Can you reposition the, the, the pressure to 12? Lock. Okay. So now 
we can finish without. انتهت البنت اوكي ميمولوك هي Lock. Cut okay. here. Okay. Suck here. So me the aorta. Okay. So I decided not to cut this artery because it was coming to the kidney. It was in, was intact, and this was the artery coming from the aorta going on the left side that probably was causing that bleeding. Okay. So, this is the aorta. The isthmus was here. Now the two kidneys have been separated. This is probably the inferior mesenteric artery that, is, that was above the isthmus and is going here into the aorta. So the inferior mesenteric artery was creating some problems of space. And uh, I, I did the, the, mo the most thesis, uh, the, the most as I, I could, um, especially on the left. On the right, there was not much bleeding. I will place some closil. Uh, just because we open it. Uh, are there some questions, concerns? This was uh, the turbo tamp that we passed below. Can you see? Here it is. Okay. And this is just fat. between the aorta and the mesenteric artery. Close to these big vessels, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of lymphatics. OK, so let's go where the right isthmus was. Okay. 
Okay, so I think the procedure is finished. Se c'hai altro tabotamp, mettilo qui sulla orta. Raise it. C'è più? Ok. Mm? Non ho capito. Ce l'hai? Eh, dammelo, dammelo, mettilo qui. Okay, I think the procedure is, is finished. Do you have worries, uh, comments?